In this problem, we'll calculate the monthly payment for a loan of $16,000 over a five-year period at 8% interest, and we'll calculate the total interest accrued on the account. So, P stands for our principal, the initial amount of money that we borrowed, which is $16,000. R is our interest rate, and we have to change that as a decimal, and the way you change it to a decimal is divided by 100. N, you're making monthly payments, so that means N has to be 12, because there are 12 months in a year. In our denominator, once again, interest rate is 0 0.08. We are making monthly payments, so N is 12, raised to the negative 12 times 5 power, and 5 is our number of years. So in our numerator, we will take 16,000, multiply that by 0 0.08, and divide our result by 12, so in our numerator, What we will end up getting one more time. Is one oh six point six repeating. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to round these values off. So you want to make sure to leave that entire value one oh six point six 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 repeating. So in our denominator, we're going to start on the inside of our parentheses following our order of operations. So our 0 0.08 divided by 12, you'll end up with 0 0.006 repeating. We will add 1 to that value. You get 1.006, and the bar on top means that value is a repeating, so we don't want to round that. And we're raising this value to the negative 60th power. So your numerator 1.106.6 repeated divided by you're going to take 1.006 repeated raise that to the negative 60th power and you should end up with 1.6712 yeah 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 once again you don't want to round you want to keep all of those values on your screen So if you do 1 minus 0.6712, you end up with about 0.328, and that value keeps repeating. So what you want to do is you want to use all of these values. The 106.6 repeated, and divide that by... your denominator and what you should end up with is three hundred twenty four dollars and your directions told you to round to the nearest cent so that is forty two cents as your payment so the next part says what's your total interest so we pay this amount three hundred twenty four dollars and forty two cents every single month for five years so three hundred twenty four dollars and forty two cents every single month for five years that means we pay out a grand total of $19,465.20. And what we want to know is the total interest. So A is your future value. That's equal to your principal plus your interest. Our future value, we ended up paying $19,465.20. But our original loan, what we started off with, was $16,000. So that means in order to solve this equation, we have to subtract 16,000 on both sides of our equation, which tells us that our interest is $3,465.20.
So, next what they ask for is a loan amortization table. So what that does is it breaks down monthly your payment, how much is going towards the balance of your loan. So we make our table. We have interest. We have principal. And we have balance. And I'm just going to do one month for you because the process repeats. So interest, I is equal to P times R times T. We use simple interest for your amortization table. Our principal in the first month is $16,000. Our interest rate is 8%. And our time here is 1 over 12 because we're doing this per month. This is month 1. So 16000 times 0 0.08. Divided by 12, that means for our first month, our interest is $106.67. So, the amount of money our monthly payment, our monthly payment is $324.42. And... $106.67 of this goes towards our interest. So that means we are actually left with principal, the amount of money going towards our actual balance of $217.75. So our balance, we started off with $16,000. We paid off $217.75. which means that our new balance after the first month is $15,782.25. So we'll do month two. Month two, our interest is our principal, which is now $15,782.25 times our interest rate of 8% times one over 12, because we're only talking about one month. $105.22. You got to make sure to round to the hundreds place because we're talking about money. And what you will notice is that every month your interest should be going down. Your monthly payment is still $324.42. Now you only have paid $105.22 towards interest. So that means for the second month, $219.22. $219.20 actually goes towards your balance. So the first month, your balance on your loan was $15,782.25. You have now had $219.20 go towards your loan. So your new balance at the end of the second month is fifteen thousand five hundred sixty three dollars and five cents so what you'll notice is that the pattern is your amount of interest gets deducted from your monthly payment your principal gets deducted from your balance then you start all over your balance is now the P your interest gets deducted from your monthly payment then your principal gets deducted from the balance of your loan. Made with DoodleCast Pro.